Hello, I still on the railway track. <laughs> Something just popped into my head. I mentioned before about the sun and one's eyes, and you probably realise this, but a Paleolithic man or man for who's been around, and when I say man, I joke, man, and men and women, they haven't been wearing sunglasses. Now, again, these are all my opinions, so don't buy into any of my BS. But unless you're dealing with refractive rays from the sun, so you could be out skiing or sailing, then there's no real need to wear sunglasses. And those people that do wear sunglasses are actually causing problems for later on in life with um, their eyes. Now, I'm going to generalise, and you've probably heard Disraeli, Benjamin Disraeli once said, there's always lies, damn lies and statistics. But there's some good research to show that those people that wear sunglasses are more prone to creating eye problems later on in their life. Uh, maybe cataracts and other uh, eye challenges. And the other thing is sunscreen. I want to bring this up on top of my mind as well. Don't wear sunscreen. I mean, again, we haven't been, the sun has never been the enemy. If you, skin cancer, again, if you look at the research and the stats, I know a lot of it um, is in places where the sun is high, but then these people are applying bloody sunscreen all over their body. And the biggest organ, as I mentioned before, is the skin. And anything you apply to your skin will be absorbed. So here's my tip bit. Do not apply anything to the biggest organ on your body unless you would eat it. So unless it's organic, don't even think of applying your skin, because whatever you apply to your skin, 60% is going to be absorbed. You know, like in showers when they have the, your fluoride and chloride in your water, and it's just not a good thing, folks. So ensure that you only apply those things that you would eat onto your skin. Uh, so sunscreen. Trust me, I'm not a doctor, but applying sunscreen will definitely lead to skin cancer. And if you want to go to uh, Dr. McCullough's website and check up any of the stats and research on there, go ahead. Another useful one that I use is uh, Mike Adams at naturalnews.com. More research on there. So just don't use any sunscreen. And like the thing I say, if you can't pronounce, never mind spell, some of the ingredients on these products, probably not a good idea to have anywhere near your body. Well, again, thank you for listening. And I'm sure some of you will share with me. And uh, I'm just impressed. Just such a gorgeous day. Um, I wish you all a, a fantastic day. A beautiful Christmas and New Year. Bye for now.